just nine days to the Qatar 2022 World Cup. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to talk about some more interesting news concerning the Black Stars, concerning Senegal, who have just named their 26-man squad, and concerning Callum hudson Odoi and Eddie Nketiah, who have been excluded from the England national team final 26. Also concerning Nico Williams, who has made the 26 for Spain. But the Ghana Black Stars, the latest is that they will be camping here in this ultra modern place a beautiful a picturesque environment here in qatar the air campaign base has been decided on i will be giving you more details on it we're also going to talk about uh, callum hudson odoi and eddie getia who were snapped from the england final 26 as well as uh, Nico Williams, the brother of Ingake Williams, who is in Spain's final. David De Gea was not in the provisional list and subsequently is not in this final 26. We'll look at all that today. As usual, subscribe if you have not. Uh, click on the notification bell to get more updates. Keep the votes coming in. Sahara Football has been nominated as one of the best sports channels on YouTube. Keep votes coming in. I'll leave a link as the first comment pinned here. And purchase our merch. To help us give you the best coverage of the Qatar 2022 World Cup. Let's jump right into it. And before we look at the Ghana Black Stars campaign base, we'll look first and foremost at the news coming in from the camp of Senegal, the Lions of Taranga, Senegal. They have named their 26 man squad. Just a couple of minutes ago, the Senegalese head coach named 26 man squad that will be heading to Qatar 2022. After a contract extension early this week, he has named his 26 and Sadio Mane is included in that final 26. This was a comment that was passed by Fatima Samura, who is a FIFA general secretary and coincidentally also a Senegalese woman. She says, we are going to use spiritual leaders. I don't know if they are effective, but in this instance, we are going to use them anyway. We are hoping for miracles. Mane has to be there by hook or crook <laughs> Sadio Mane has to be at Qatar 2022 for Senegal and Fatima Samura was not missing was there as to whether she was joking with this statement here or not one thing is for certain and it is that they work around the clock to get Sadio Mane fit enough to play in Qatar 2022 they cannot afford to not have him there and it's owing to that the coach has named him in his final 26. Uh, earlier reports suggested that the Bayern forward would miss the World Cup after he picked up an injury in Bayern's game against Feather Bremen. But Alu Sisi announced that the player will be joining them at the World Cup. Senegal FA believes the player can recover in the competition and feature in the tournament if Senegal progress further in the competition so essentially we have a wakasu or kudus mohammed situation as we did at afcon uh, where we thought wakasu would be fit enough to play he did not play at all because he did not get fit until long after uh, the african cup of nations kudus mohammed too was started to come back to join the ghana camp if ghana had gone further reports whether he would join us it did not happen senegal are taking a huge risk including a player who is not 100% fit. Forget what the player is or who he is. And if you are not fit, it's not worth taking you to the tournament. But we'll see if Sadio Mane can recover in time to join his Senegal teammates in Qatar. My next story has to do with the Ghana Black Stars lodging a place in Qatar. The Black Stars will lodge at the Double Tree by Hilton Doha outside during the 2022 World Cup in Qatar, an amazing picturesque environment here. They will be training, however, at the Aspire Zone 1 training complex. It has been officially announced by FIFA. They are training facility and they are camping base in Qatar. Looks pretty beautiful here. We'll see how things go in Qatar for the Ghana Black Stars, as I said. They begin preparation they're talking about the Ghana Black Stars beginning preparation for the World Cup rumors are rife uh, that the Ghana FA will announce a squad that will surprise us a lot and, uh, and the rumors are going around that uh, Elisha Owusu the latest to get a late call up it's it's still being compiled the list has not been submitted yet to FIFA and uh, owing to the injuries to the likes of Daniel Kofitra and Baba Idrisu uh, who is looking like he might not recover in time Elisha Owusu has been called up into the national team it's still not set 
how many players have been called yet but it is still being done Otoado is still calling up the players and the injury situations to the players in camp some of them is not helping with that so he's monitoring the situation and calling players accordingly Papa Idrisu might miss the entire tournament and not be called up and Elisha Wusu since he has been called up now uh, could be in his stead and uh, looking like Mubarak Wakasu might also not be in the final squad the dynamics are still unpredictable right now so we wait until Monday uh, morning we'll get a clearer picture as to who is in Ghana's camp uh, to heading towards Qatar 2022 it's still being put together nothing done yet so 16 countries have named the escorts right now including senegal now it's 17 countries out of the 32 so more than half it's looking like the ghana black stars will be the last nation to name escorts as a, a 13th is a deadline midnight of 13th is the deadline for squad submission fifa will officially announce it on their portals by the 15th of november and the tournament will kick off on the 20th uh, sunday five days later nico williams my next story has to do with him has been included in spain's final squad uh, for qatar 2022 and uh, jeremy frempong as well has been included there uh, for the world cup final 26 so the black stars call up uh, talks of the fa president trying to get jeremy frempong and nico williams into the national team squash there as they are going to the World Cup and once they feature in that World Cup at least a minimum of three games uh, they will not be eligible to play for any other country and I don't think they would have wanted to play for Ghana in the first place Jeremy Frimpong and Nico Williams both in Netherlands and Spanish national team final squads uh, for Qatar 2022 so that is the latest news on that front and also Edin Ketia and Kalamats Nodoy. They were, however, snubbed uh, for the England call up as uh, we prepare for Qatar 2022. The two of them were uh, players which the FA made no secret of pursuing ahead of Ghana preparation in Qatar 2022. And owing to that, we tried as much as possible. Uh, the two made us aware that they were not ready to switch at the time. Edin Ketia, that is. Hassan Odoi, we still held out a torch for him. It did not happen. However, they also did not get a chance to be in the England national team. Probably, they do not care about the World Cup now. They feel that in the future, they will get their chance with the three Lions and hopefully make it into their team for subsequent World Cups. They are young. They still have time on their side. So there is no rush to make that decision on that front. So those two are out. Uh, Jeremy Frimpong and also uh, Nico Williams. Uh, congratulations to them on their World Cup call-ups. We wish them all the very, very best. And uh, to Hatton Odoi and Eddie Ketia probably looking up to future call-ups of the three Lions. So that has been it for today. The Black Stars venue uh, for the campaign in Qatar revealed beautiful environments there. It's sure to be a nice place to be and hopefully we get to catch a glimpse of where they will be staying and talk to a couple of them when in Qatar. Also talking about Jeremy Frank Paul, Nico Williams making the final squads for Netherlands and Spain has an Odoi and Nketia snubbed in that respect and Mane set to make it to the World Cup as he has been named in their final 26. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Oh, 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 oh,